He came to power in 2005 following a peace deal that ended 13 years of civil war. Now, President Pierre Nkurunziza is set to stand again in June's election. His supporters are happy. But it's the greatest controversy the country's seen since the end of the war. Burundi's constitution says presidents can only serve two five-year terms. It's causing a lot of tension. What is happening now is the fault of the people who are not on our side. But what is happening is going to make us stronger than ever. Whatever happens will be their fault, not ours. It was here at the ruling party's congress that members chose the president to be their candidate. It's normal to see many foreign ambassadors at party congress meetings, but here there's only a handful. The UN and the US government have both said he should not stand again. Hundreds gathered to wait for the result, wearing the party's merchandise. Supporters of President Nkurunziza waiting outside the venue have just heard that he's been elected as the presidential candidate for the ruling party in June's presidential elections. But this doesn't come as a big surprise. Some of his supporters have been talking about this for about two years. But the big question now is how will the opposition react? Will they take to the streets? And how will the security agencies react to that? When people protested last week, police quickly broke them up. More than a hundred were arrested. Rights activists say they will protest peacefully until Nkurunziza abandons his attempted third term. Later on, one leading activist told us he expected more violence. They might be killed, some arrested, some wounded, which is not uh, actually uh, a new, a new, a new behaviour of these uh, forces of uh, security and uh, defence. Back at the ruling party's headquarters, Unkar and Ziza set off on a parade. Among the crowds of male supporters jogging alongside, activists told us there are many who belong to the youth wing of the ruling party called Imbonerakure. The UN's human rights chief recently described it as a militia that operates throughout the country with impunity. After jogging for about 10 kilometers, the celebratory parade also looked like a show of physical strength. Many are worried the politics is going to become more violent. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera, Bujumbura, Burundi.